Hello and welcome to Theo Theology or TH101. My name is Moses Alleman or Professor Moses Alleman in the academic world. I'm so glad to be your professor over this next semester. And um, what I would like to do is I would like to um, just engage with assisting you on where to begin with the hard questions in life. We are going to take a journey. What I'm doing is I'm following um, Rick Warren's The Purpose Driven Life and um, just some of the highlights that we see in his book. I want to encourage you, if you have not yet uh, got your hands on it, to be able to check it out. It's so good. And so I'm just going to grab some highlights from his book and hopefully you can be able to learn something. And so today uh, we are going to start with uh, assisting you on where to begin with the hard questions in life. And I want to uh, bring to you today that it all starts with God. It all starts with God. Scripture in Colossians 1.16 says, For everything, absolutely everything, above and below, visible and invisible, everything got started in Him and finds its purpose in Him. It's pretty clear the author of this book in the New Testament, in the book of Colossians, is letting us know that if we want to know the answers, the hard questions of life, we need to start with God because everything finds its purpose in Him. You know, it's interesting that for generations and decades and centuries, people have been searching for purpose and um, searching for the meaning of life. Things have puzzled them for thousands of years. You know, questions like, what should I do with my life? You're probably a college student asking the same thing. What are my goals? What are my ambitions? What about my dreams or my future? It's so easy to grab a hold of someone else's or what someone else says we should do. But here, these questions have been going on for centuries, so don't feel so bad if you're asking the same thing. But what I want to propose to you this morning, today, is that focusing on ourselves will never really reveal life's purposes. It's interesting, right? You think, well, that kind of sounds backwards. But I want to tell you that focusing on ourselves will never really reveal life's purpose. Contrary to what many books have said or are saying, movies, seminars, um, you won't discover life's meaning by looking within yourself. But what I want to recommend and propose is that we are God's creation. Only the Creator or the manual can reveal the purpose. And here's what I mean. You didn't create yourself. So there's no way that you can tell yourself what you were created for. All right? I want to say that again. You didn't create yourself. Therefore, there's no way you can tell yourself what you were created for. And here's what I mean. If I hand you an invention right now, okay, just think about it an invention that you had never seen in your life. You wouldn't know its purpose, right? Um, and the invention itself wouldn't be able to tell you either, right? You can look at this thing and hold it up and uh, you could not be able to discover what it means because you don't know and even the invention wouldn't be able to tell you. Only the creator or the owner's manual can reveal its purpose and it's the same in God we are God's creation right you must begin by asking the Creator you must begin with your Creator right you exist only because God wills you to exist we are God's creation you were made by God and for God we are God's creation and I've discovered this that until I understand that very important thing, that I am God's creation, that I was made for God and by God, life will never make sense. It's only in God that we discover our origin, our identity, our meaning, our purpose, our significance, and our destiny. Those are pretty strong words there, but it's only by understanding that we are made by God and for God, that we understand this. 
You were made by God. God was not made for you. Listen to what Romans 8, 6 says. Obsession with self in these matters is a dead end. Attention to God leads us out into the open, into a spacious, free life. You were made for God and not vice versa. Life is about letting God use you for his purposes, not using him for yours. God created you for his purposes. Again, introspection or revelation. Do we look on the inside or do we look to God? This is not, even though it may sound like it right now, a self-help class. This is not a self-help talk. This is not speculation. Let me find what I believe the answer is or the hypothesis is or the best result is of this life. It's not introspection, but what I'm proposing is revelation. Revelation. We can turn to God and discover that he has what he has revealed in his word. Again, revelation. What we do is we turn to God and number two, we discover what he has revealed to us about life in his word. The easier way to discover the purpose of an invention, again, is to ask the creator for it. The same is true for discovering your life's purpose. We need to ask God. Listen to what God said in his word in Psalms 139, starting with 13. I love this scripture. It's a highlighter. It's one that I highlighted in my Bible. It says, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed how precious are your thoughts about me O god they cannot be numbered i can't even count them they outnumber the grains of sand and when i wake up you are still with me i want to close with this today there's a man by the name of andrei bitov he's a russian novelist he grew up under an atheistic communist regime but God got his attention one dreary day. He recalls, in my 27th year, while riding the metro in Leningrad, St. Petersburg, I was overcome with a despair so great that life seemed to stop at once, preempting the future entirely, let alone any meaning. Suddenly, all by itself, a phrase appeared, without God, life makes no sense. Repeating it in astonishment, I rode the phrase up like a moving staircase, got out of the metro, and walked into God's light. You may have felt in the dark about your purpose in life. Maybe you're here today and you feel that way. But I want to tell you that you're about to walk into the light. Without God, life makes no sense. And so I want to pray for you. Thank you, God, for this time together. I pray, Lord God, for the students as they begin um, their studies this semester that you would steady them, give them wisdom, give them balance. And I pray, Lord God, more than anything, that you would be revealed to them. In Jesus' name, amen.